Okay, welcome back. I'm doing a little bit of inventory management, mostly. I'm dragging my wheelbarrow around this place. There's piles of stuff everywhere, and I've just kind of left it all. Um, so, let's see, drag, do we want tailoring? Yeah, so I'm grabbing all of these sort of tattered clothes, and I mean, there's good stuff here. Like, I found some glove liners, which I didn't have. And I can cut all of this up to repair my clothes and make better stuff in the future. Um, and yeah, it's just going to be nice to uh, get this place sorted out. Uh, like, stuff like a roll mat, I mean, I don't really need it, but... You know, like there's a big book of first aid in one of those crates over there as well, and I just uh, left it there. But this briefcase, if I can find it, there we go. I'm going to cut it up. I I got back all of my stuff from my previous character. Uh, so basically... Oh, I don't know that tab did anything here. Yeah, so I'm basically wearing what I was wearing before. So I'm just going to... Whoops. God damn it. My soldering iron has reassigned itself. I'm going to reinforce my glove liners while I'm still here. So I don't even have any rags. What's going on? Um, let's try and cut up this trench coat. Salvaged 15 rags, very nice. Let's cut up this briefcase. Three plastic chunks, not fantastic. Yeah, there we go. Extra sturdy glove liners, that's what we like to see. Let's reinforce my safety glasses. And once I've cleaned this place out, I mean, it's the end of the day. Um, so we're not going to get much exciting stuff done today. But, um, yeah, once I've sorted this place out, I'm going to start working on a car. So I'll continue to sort this place out a bit off camera. Let's just check these books, though, because apparently I've never even skimmed them. Dodging skill to one, which apparently I could use. Uh, and, yeah... I can learn from both of those. Good stuff. Yeah, I think I need to skim all of these books again. Yeah, oh boy. That'll be fun. Uh, it's at least worth doing just to get the recipes from it. But yeah, I already emptied my car, and so I'm just going around cleaning all of this stuff up. I'm hearing strange crunching noises. From the southwest you hear crunch. Are you chewing potato chips? Who are you? Why stuff? Things. Interesting. Goodbye. I don't know. I don't know why this... From the southwest you hear crunch. From the south you hear crunch. It must be on the other side of this door. I don't know what it is. Uh, I guess it's something crushing the uh, shrubs outside, but... Yeah, I'm currently going through these food stores, which I just kind of forgot were there entirely. Yeah, I do keep hearing crunching sounds. It's kind of disturbing. I don't like it. But I'll ignore it and pretend it's not happening. Ooh, stuff. I'm going to use the toilets to unload rotten food into. It seems logical. But uh, yeah, I found a couple of jars of rotten crap, so I might as well unload them and drop them. All this crap in here, got some rags, I'll put those in the thingamajig it. Glass jars, uh, tailoring section, yes. I have three random batteries. Would you stop with the crunching? I'm going to have to find out what that is, aren't I? There's no two ways about it. Uh, I should just be able to shove this case out of the way. What? Did that door fix itself? Or window even? Hmm. Or maybe it was the other one that got smashed. Uh, yep, yeah, there we go. Okay, uh, I have a broadsword. Oh, yes, hello wreckage. I also, from the southeast, you hear crunch. I do have a wearable flashlight. Uh, activate V. Is it something walking on the snow? The southeast you hear crunch. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, do you see what that is? 
all those mounds of dirt and trees. Uh, yep, that is a Triffid Queen sprouting forests under the fucking refugee center. I don't like this, and I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> I don't know why I turned that off. Saving batteries, I suppose. Whoops. No, cancel. Uh, yeah, so we'll have to deal with that in the morning, I think. But I would quite like to just go to sleep and pretend it's not happening. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, basically they'll keep doing that, and they will sprout those trees through uh, any vehicles you might have parked out there. So, and I'll grab this maple syrup, but the rest of that food isn't worth cluttering up my wheelbarrow with. Seasoning is always good, though. Um, I'll grab some of this crap. Crap? Yes, I'll grab this crap. Crap, yes. Because some of it will be useful. I think there's a triffid out the front of the building. Seems to be the case. Um, yeah, so... We'll probably just go to sleep now. There we go. Handfuls of sleeping pills later we have slept. We're going to wake up and have blueberry jam for breakfast. I kind of, the way that the enjoyment works for foods is very silly. Let's have some coffee as well. Mmm, yummy. Because, yeah, like, eating a bit of blueberry jam uh, works pretty well to make you happy, but an entire jar? Like, I would just vomit everywhere. i got a pretty strong stomach, but... Okay, let's go burn some triffids to the ground. It's the only way to deal with them when they uh, start sprouting forests everywhere like that. Uh, I would actually like to move away from the radioactive part and just wait until dawn. Because it's not very bright outside. It's probably a bit of a waste of time, but never mind. Uh, it definitely seems to move a lot quicker. Well, that's fine. Just need to be able to see where I'm going. But yeah, it seems to be running a lot quicker. I have updated to the latest experiment. experimental. <clears throat> Zero point B is out. But um, I'm always just playing on the experimental these days, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Good God. Like, I thought it was a Triffid Grove, but I'm not so sure now. That That's really long. It looks like... Uh, <laughs> that looks mental. Has it gone right across the road? Oh my god. Like, I'm not going to be driving out of here anytime soon. Oh, here's the Triffid Queen. Where is it? Hostile. Oh, it's right there. Um, yeah, this thing just kind of moves around. Uh, seeding forests, but uninjured. Um, yeah, I mean, oh, whoa, don't get too close. Because it will grow a tree through me, like... Let's uh, set fires at this bush. The problem is, it's moving along like a big old tree worm. So I can't really set fire to it in the way that I would like to, you know? Uh, I've got a vine beast coming towards me. Because, yeah, like, oh god, nope, please don't grow a tree through me. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I need the fire to spread quicker than she is spreading all of this crap. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, I could try and shoot her. I do have a pretty powerful rifle. But, yeah, even with 76 damage from one shot. She's barely injured. Okay. Yeah, this seems like a plan. It's about to grow a tree through me, I think, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, the problem with this, I mean, I was keeping this rifle for, you know, real fucking pants-wettingly scary enemies, but something that does that to the landscape around my shelter counts, I think. I'll take all this crap. Why not? There we go. 
Non-perishable quench-making things. Can't see your nose of that. Alright, get my broadsword back out. Yeah, I mean, what I wanted to do was uh, build a vehicle, but it's going to be a pain in the backside driving anywhere now, unless I cut down a bunch of those trees. Which I can do, I've got a wood axe somewhere. I don't have the skill to do it though, I don't think. No, I believe that's chop down tree. Oh no, it doesn't require any skill. Well, that's a way to get my construction up, I guess. But um, right now we have uh, skill in mechanics 2, which is not enough to build a car, but it is enough to uh, take down a car. You can dismantle one quite easily. So I'm going to do that. Uh, let's keep some of those. I'll drop uh, eight of them. There we go. And might as well eat some. Drink some mineral water. Uh, no. Okay. Right, so what tools do I have on me? Uh, none, basically. So let's grab a wrench. And do I have a hacksaw? I think that maybe I was missing a hacksaw, wasn't I? That's why I didn't build a car last time. I went on a crazy mission to get killed. I don't think a wood saw is going to count, no. Okay, so we need to go on a mission to find a hacksaw, I guess. Uh, yay. <laughs> Let's take the thingamajig with us, the torch. A settling torch, there we go. Um, let's take the other one. Stop. Give me. Right. Uh, I would. Actually, can I grab this gasoline lantern? Where is it? I'm just wondering if I can. Well, I will unload it into a bottle first. It will just save me testing it. Because I was just wondering if I could just fill up the car directly from this. Refill vehicle. Nope. Fill this glass jar. Uh, is it it's now empty? It is. Good stuff. So I don't know how much gasoline I can fit in a 3 litre jar, but it's probably quite a lot. Because, uh, yeah, then I can fill up this vehicle, which has only a tiny amount of gas. Uh, and now it has 2% gas, and I can drive around all day with that. It's not too bad. Um, I'm just going to drop that glass jar in the back seat. Uh, was there a gas station in this town? There was, and it should be relatively quiet. So I'll go check out this gas station. We'll fill up this car, and then we'll drive around looking for a hacksaw. That's our plan for today, and the good thing about the vehicle system now is that it remembers how much gas is in a tank when you take it out. So I can fill the tank in this thing, and then just put that tank in a new vehicle. Um, yes, I'm gonna find my way past the wall of trees! God damn it! I can't believe you did that. Well, this is out of the road anyway, so. It's all good. It didn't spawn too many triffids, thankfully. <clears throat> the real problem is this is going to be a bit of a recurring issue, I feel. Unless we go s attack the triffid heart, which I suppose we can do at some point. There might be one in that hardware store if I haven't looted it. Right, let's go through here, try not to crash into the building. That was a pawn shop. No, this hardware store... Let's see, what can I see in there? Discobolus? Can I see far enough inside, inside the building? Uh, let's just put a filter on that while we're looking for a specific thing. I might miss other useful stuff, but... I just want a hacksaw. That's all I want. Hello, zombie child. Eh, yeah, damn it. I missed it. I tried to run over it, but, uh, oh yeah, we have, um, diesel and petrol, or diesel and gasoline, sorry, pumps now. So that one there is diesel pump. I cannot see what's inside of it, but at a guess, I would say that it was diesel. Uh, let's stop the car. This is quite a few zombies. 
Where can I take them? I will take them on a merry journey over to this other car. I will just kill this zombie child along the way. Uh, I'm not hitting it because my skills are terrible. And my encumbrance is kinda bad. I mean, it's two. So I basically have minus skills now, but they're going to level quite quickly. I did not want the cardboard box, I just wanted to see what it was. Uh, let's close up the back of the car. There we go. Yeah, so I might take some damage here. Oh, come on, stand in the doorway, you idiots. Okay, never mind, we're hitting them pretty regularly. It's not too bad. And of course this door is slowing them down quite nicely. Yeah, we haven't taken any damage so far. Right, my sword is getting stuck. What was my strength again? Ten. Probably just about good enough. It's not too bad. Right, let's uh, close the door while the boomer gets over here. Uh, so that it spits on the door, not me. And I managed to dodge its bile. Right, let's get all these butchered. No, continue butchering. Alright. Uh, somebody has a first aid kit. I'll take that. First aid kits. Uh, you got a wrench, but you don't have a bloody hacksaw. I asked for a hacksaw. Alright, any more zombies over here? There's a Dilophosaurus. <laughs> this is a medium dinosaur with sticky green bile dripping from its teeth. It's out of the compound there. I'd just like to point out. Hopefully it doesn't come and spit its goo on me. Right. What do I get from that? 11%? Not too shabby. Yeah, let's back her up to this other pump. Come on. Ugh, lag. Let's try this one. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, we're up to 32%. That's probably... Well, it's just a seat. It's probably enough to last me a really long time, actually. Uh, a refillable lighter. It's always useful. I'll grab the batteries out of that. Ooh, a restaurant guide. Nice. No, I don't need any of those. I'll grab some cigarettes, I guess. Alright, let's um let's activate this road map before we get nommed by a dinosaur. A restaurant guide, I should say. Let's see how long this takes now. Do 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 <laughs> Oh, there we go. You add some restaurants to your map. Like <laughs> a lot of them. But yeah, now we can see the rough placement of the towns again, which is very nice indeed. It's always nice to be able to see that stuff. Okay, uh, let's get rid of it. I should probably keep it, actually, for, like, concurrent characters, but, uh... <laughs> um, right, where am I going to find a hacksaw besides a garage? Um... There wasn't a garage down there. There is an office. Uh, it's a hardware store there. I dare say I haven't checked it out. I was careful how I pull off those. You know, strangely, the cars turn in this game. Um, so I know there's a garage down here somewhere, but I think I already looted them. So I guess we're gonna go to this town in the southeast. Uh, what is that? I think it's a boat. Uh, oh, I'm still gonna filter on it. MBR vest. That's oh, a wheel. <laughs> Duh. Okay. All right, so I'm probably damaging my car by driving over all that crap. Never mind. Oh, I got two clash crashes right next to each other. Where's that hardware store? Right. Much further south. Uh, not sure what was just chasing after me there, but how are we doing? My seat belt is alarmingly damaged, but my wheels are looking good. That's all that's important. Yeah, engine's a bit damaged as well. It's all right. We'll get it all fixed up eventually. Okay, 
All right, so there's an NPC down here as well. Not sure who that is. Hey, get through the shrub. Come on. Right, that's the burning building that I started with this time. It's still on fire. There's no one nearby to talk to. Okay, so... Uh, I can see at least a torch through the window. I can see a jack as well. Uh, so let's get out... Oh dear, there's a zombie inside. Fuck. Yes, I wanted to be inside this window, so... You know, not in a weird way. Stop ripping my things. Damage me if you must, but... I don't want my stuff to be damaged, thank you. This is not an ideal choke point. There's too many tiles for them to stand on. Right, let's wait for this decayed zombie. Whoa, that was a bit dangerous. Alright, let's make sure those windows are clear. Okay. That wasn't too bad, could have been worse. I will uh, cut up some of these clothes and try and sort out my ripped stuff. Come on. Butcher the thing. There we go. Uh, I saw that first aid kit. Very nice. Uh, let's cut open these stockings. Not the filter mask. Could not salvage a rag. God damn it. Knee high boots. How oh, lovely. Uh, salvage of one rag. Okay. Yeah, let's reinforce my mole pack. Because that is too useful. And it's always the trench coat, isn't it? Always the bloody trench coat. Alright, let's get this shredded dress shirt. So we go. Uh, where was the trench coat? H. There we go. Right, is there a bloody hacksaw in here? There better be. I'll tell you what. Uh, commercial fertilizer. Whoa, that's heavy. No thanks. Got a spray can. Flashlights, I'll grab the batteries out of them. See a screwdriver up there. Exacto knife. Another wrench. Oh, my kingdom for a hacksaw. Where are they? A scythe. Oh, wow. Two hit bonus, minus six. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I'm not really sure. Uh,. Yeah, I'm not really sure what you would use that for. A broom? No, thank you. A settling torch I'll take. Uh, a farming implement. Yeah, I'll take the hoe. Maybe we'll do some farming at some point. But, I... Nope. There's no hacksaw in here. Complete home repair guide. Uh, fuck the hoe. <laughs> Quite literally. It's too big, and I want this book. Well, actually, well, let me just skim it. I might already have it. I can't remember if I already have this book. I said skim it. Can bring your construction skill to eight. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take that. We'll go drop it in our car. Uh, drop. Complete home repair guide. I'll go back and grab that hoe. I always forget that I have portable storage. There we go. Right. So yeah, I think I'll cut this video here. Where um, <laughs> that building's very much on fire now. Uh, but yeah, we're still looking for a hacksaw. Um, I will try... Where's my cursor? Oh, there it is. Uh, I guess I'll just poke my head into this gun store next. I mean, while we're here, we might as well. <laughs> 